Welcome to another Electro Technology video and in this video we are looking at how to join two pieces of cable together. Let's do it. So there are going to be many times when you are out there working and you're going to find that the cable that's already in the building, maybe it's in the roof space, maybe it's in the wall, isn't long enough. Maybe you need to extend something on. So you can't pull this cable out and replace it, so we need to join it on. Now the way we do this is we actually take another piece of cable, obviously, and we have some connectors, some screw connectors, which we then twist and attach to this cable. In Australia, we have two types of screw connectors. We have the single screw and a double screw, and that is because the earth cable has to have the double screw connector. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this for you and show you how to twist your cables together correctly, put those connectors on, and make sure it's all nice and safe. Okay, so I have my connectors here. This is a double screw connector. There we go. And I have the single screw connector. And the reason we have the double screw connector is because the double screw has to go on the earth wire. The active and the neutral wire, it doesn't really matter. Um, we can use either double screw or single screw, but the earth wires under the regulations in Australia have to be connected with a double screw connector. So to do this, all we do is we take our wires, and in this case, I'm gonna use the neutral burst. When I do this, I need to make sure that I line up the insulation where I've stripped the cable. The insulation has to be even, it has to be the same. Okay, and I take my pliers and then I twist it like that. And what should happen is it should come together like a nice piece of rope. And then I can nip off the end, give another twist there. There we go. And now what we're going to do is take our connector, put the connector on, and just screw it down. Like so. And you can see that the connector is now on. And I repeat the same process for the next two wires. Keep in mind that the earth one will have the two screws on it. Because it has the double screws on it, I'm actually making sure that this is a little bit longer than what I would have for the other ones. And I have to make sure that the second screw is actually loosened off so it goes all the way through. And if you can see there, it's gone all the way through. Now I can tighten that up. There we go. And again, for the last one. making sure you're screwing it down so it's really nice and tight so it doesn't come out. Now that I've done that, I'm going to tape it up. I'm going to use the insulation tape. Now, you can use, I'm using blue, you can really use any color you like. It doesn't really make that much of a difference when you're just joining cables like this. However, if you are connecting cables into maybe a circuit board, distribution board or something like that, then you generally try to keep the same colors. So you keep red, black, and obviously, you should always, if you're uh, taping the earth, the earth should always be green or green with a yellow stripe, the tape. So for these, these ones here, if I'm just joining cable and roof space, it doesn't really matter the color, um, as long as it is obvious that you can still see these colored 
parts of the insulation. So to do this, I take the tape and I place the tape at the beginning of the wires. I wrap it around. And when I do this, I want to hold on to it. So once I've done my first wrap, and I'm actually gonna stretch the tape out and then continue on. And I basically wrap all the way around, making sure that any exposed area like that, for example, where the screw was, is covered, constantly holding it down and giving it a bit of a stretch. And the reason you do this, and this is such an important thing, is because if you are stretching that tape, then what it will do is it will try to pull back against itself. So once it's glued down, so once it's glued down, it's actually always trying to push back, which means it's gonna hold on much, much tighter. So you can see for the color there, and this is why I've used blue, you can see how it's a little bit darker there where it's not a stretch, and it's a little bit lighter where it has been stretched. And that is going to be a much more solid and better taping job if you do it this way. And then obviously I would go on and do the rest. Okay, that's it, job all done. If I had completed this correctly, obviously these other connectors would also be taped as well. You don't actually have to tape the earth connector, but I always do anyway, just for extra protection. It's gonna cost me a couple of cents in tape and literally 10 seconds of my time, not even. You might as well do it. Anyway, let's assume this is all finished. That's it, that's the cable joined. But if I'm doing this in a roof space or anywhere where this is gonna be accessible, this needs to be protected. So if it was in a roof space, then I would use this PVC box here, comes apart, and you take the connections, they go inside the box, just like that. And this piece generally gets nailed onto the timber that's inside the ceiling, right? There's nails already preset for it, so you can just line it up, hit it with your hammer, away you go. Or alternatively, maybe you might need to drill some holes and tie it. Somehow it's gotta be actually fixed so it doesn't move. This then just sits over the top like that, okay? Keeps all in there nice and neat. Screw it down and you're finished. Now, these boxes have perforations, so you can actually break perforations apart like this one, so you can get more cables in if need be, depending on how the cables are being run. I would never join a cable inside a wall cavity if I can really, really avoid it. And the reason for that is because if you put it in a wall cavity, very hard to get back out because it's now like that. And it's also probably gonna be in a box too. And that's not gonna come through the, through the hole if you've ever got to try and take the cable out. So please try to avoid that. If, if you have to do a connection, Maybe pull the cable up and do the connection in the roof space if possible. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you have, please, as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.